Hey guys, Penguin Recordings here. And in this guide video, I'm going to show you how to install EA's Origin software on Ubuntu. So this will work for Ubuntu 14.04 and 14.10 and any previous Ubuntu version that supports Play on Linux 4.2 and above. So before we get started, the first thing we're going to need is the Origin installer. So I'm going to open up my web browser here. I'm going to try and bring you through this step by step in case you've never done it before or you're unsure how things should go. So with Firefox open, I'm going to type in Origin. The first thing that should come up is EA's Origin. I'm going to head to the Download Origin page. Okay. And now I'm going to click Download Origin for PC. Now, naturally, EA does not support Linux at all, so we will be using Play on Linux and Wine to get this working. I'm going to click Save File. Once it's done, it's done downloading, go ahead and click it on the top there. Now I'm going to drag this and drop it onto the desktop. This will make it easier for me to find. Okay, so now we can close Firefox. The second thing you're going to need is Play on Linux. I'm not going to guide you on how to install this, but basically you're going to want to head to their website, download it for Ubuntu, and then install any other dependencies it may require. So now that we have Play on Linux open, the third thing we need is the latest Wine version at the time of this recording, which is 1.7.35. This new update to Wine fixes the issues with downloading and you shouldn't have to do any sort of patching anymore. So let's go to Tools and let's go to Manage Wine Versions. Alright? So regardless if your system is 32-bit or 64-bit, the only version of Wine we can and should use at current time is the 32-bit version. So we're sticking on this. Now the most important one we want is Wine 1.7.35 which is on the left here. We need to install it, so I'm going to click this arrow that leads to the right. I'm going to go and open up a small window. I'm going to click Next. I'm going to let it do the downloading. It may download quite a bit, so I'm going to skip ahead into the video after it's done downloading. Alright, so it's finished downloading and installing Wine 1.7.35, and as you can see, it's on the right here. So now we may close this window. And just before we get started, I'm just going to let you see the version of Play on Linux which I'm using. Currently at the time of this video, this is the latest, 4.2.5. Alright, credits go to the Play on Linux team for a great piece of software. So let's close that. Now let's actually get started into the installation process. I'm going to click the big install button here. I'm going to go to the bottom left, install a non-listed program. Alright, I'm going to click Next. Install a program in a new virtual drive. Click Next. You can name this drive anything. I am going to call it EA Origin, just so I know what it is later on. I'm going to click Next. So here, we are going to tick Use Another Version of Wine. We are going to configure Wine and that should be sufficient for our needs. Let's click Next. I am going to choose the Wine version that we just downloaded and installed which is 1.7.35. Click Next. We are going to go for a 32 bits Windows installation as I have previously mentioned the reason for this. Let's click Next. Give it a couple of seconds while it creates the drive. Alright, so now we can configure Wine. What I'm going to do here is that I'm going to set the Windows version to, let's see, Vista. This is to be safe as some games may actually check and if it says it's XP, those games won't run. So Vista should suffice for our needs. Next, I'm going to go to Graphics. I'm going to take Emulate a Virtual Desktop. You can set this to any resolution you want. I'm going to set it to, uh, what is a suitable size? I think 1280 by 720 should be sufficient for me. I'm going to click Apply, and I'm going to click OK. So now this is where we are going to head to the Origin Thin Setup on the desktop. I'm simply going to click Browse. I'm going to go to the desktop, and I'm going to select 
BEXE. So now that it's selected, I'm going to click Next. It opens up. Now the installation is as you would do in Windows normally. So I'm going to click Install. Let it, let it do its thing for a bit. Alright, seem to be pretty fast. I'm going to agree to the agreement and I'm going to hit OK. So now it is downloading the rest of the Origin client. Alright, it's almost finished downloading. Let's see if there are any more things that I have to do. Alright, so it goes straight to the login. And now I'm not going to rush and log in just yet. I'm going to close it first. Alright, that should close the window automatically. Okay, so it's going to give you a list of shortcuts that are available. Or no, shortcuts that you can make out of the existing executables. We only really want one, and that would be origin.exe. Alright, so I'm going to click next. And I'm going to leave it at the title that it has been given, which is origin. I am going to click next. That's all I need, so now I can simply click cancel. So here it is. It's ready to go. I'm going to click run. So now we can actually get into testing it, see whether it works. So origin is already set up. No need to do the special stuff that we used to do in the previous videos. Previous tutorial videos that I made, you'd have to find a specific installer. Uh, do patching here and there to get it downloaded. It shouldn't be the case anymore. So I'm going to log in. I will hide my login information from you. So it will be censored. Censorship. I'm censoring the internet. I'm a bad, bad person. Okay. Let's go to remember me. Log in as invisible. I'm going to log in. Everything should go well right off the bat. Let's see. It's taking a bit of time. Account currently in use. There's a possibility that is logged in on one of my other computers. Let me double check. Oops, it is. Let me just exit it there. Okay, it's exited. I'm going to log in anyway. So that's pretty good. It's checking my other computers. It sees that it's already logged in. I'm still good. I'm in. We can see all the new features. There's the free games. They've got game time, which is pretty much the free week. What's it? Free weekend of Steam version. So, we've got it up and running, pretty easy, but does it work? Can we actually download games, and after that, can we play them? I'm going to tell you straight off the bat, do not ask me. Battlefield 3, Battlefield 4, do not run in Wine. It is not possible currently. Wine does not support DirectX 10 or 11 sufficiently to be able to run them. So, Battlefield 3, Battlefield 4, Crisis 3, and Titanfall do not work. We will have to wait for future Wine versions before they will be capable of running. I have tried multiple times. So let's test the download. I'm going to do Theme Hospital. Since it's free, everyone can try it. I'm going to click download. It's also a small sized game. DOS box game, I believe, from the 90s. So if this works, what we should see, alright, straight off the bat, it's already asking me. I want to download it here, sure. I'm just going to click continue. I will agree to the end user license agreement. I'm going to click continue again. Is it working? Is it downloading right off the bat? And what? Look at that. That is amazing. The Wine developers have fixed the issue previously. So not only can we just use the straight up origin installer from the website, no need to search for specific installers, but we don't have to patch anything anymore. All you do is you get the latest Wine, which is 1.7.35 at the time of this video. You get the Origin installer, you set your drive up in Play on Linux, and then you install Origin into that drive. After that, you're pretty much free to go. So the downloader is working. I'm going to try and run this after this, but there's a possibility I won't be able to run the game because I do not have my graphics drivers set up properly. I'm running on the open source drivers right now, and I do not have some 32-bit li libraries, but that's just me. Don't worry about that. As long as you have your drivers installed on your system, you should be good. Okay, so here, it's going to get stuck at installing if I'm not wrong. 
and it should remain stuck at installing. So let's see if I can head to system monitor. Under here, if you see the EA, oops, the EA proxy installer here, we want to kill this process because it's going to get stuck there always. So I'm simply going to kill the process. EA proxy installer only. Kill that. There we go. Now I can simply close this. So as you can see, after you've killed that process, Theme Hospital is ready to play. Let's test it out. What's going to happen? There's a possibility it won't run again. Like I said previously, I do not have my drivers installed, which does seem to be causing an issue here. So regardless, the purpose of this video is how to install Origin right off the bat. Process is very straightforward now, very easy. I hope this video helps you guys get up and running. Please make sure you have your drivers installed beforehand. And just a quick tidbit, each one of these games very likely has different requirements. So not all of them will work equally. You may have to add certain things to the drive before working with them. Maybe some of them need a certain version of uh, a virtual, you know, virtual. Uh, visual C++ or some of them may require a certain portion of direct 3D installed but for the most part you should be able to get up and running with Origin and downloading games so that you can start testing them in Wine. So I hope this video helps you guys if you have questions you need help I will try to help you as best as I can in the comments below if you have uh, information or corrections please go ahead and post them and thank you for watching